Welcome to the Zen Zone, my knights, my superheroes, and the one queen. There's a queen that actually watches my videos. Guys, we got a lot to get through in a quick amount of time. I'm going to try to get this video under 10 minutes. This is a gear video. People have been asking me what kind of gear I use, how I prevented myself from injury for so long, and I've had a lot of injuries, and I've upgraded my gear since then to prevent those injuries from happening again. I would like to prevent you guys. I would like to help prevent injuries for you guys as well. I've been seeing a lot lately, a lot of injuries lately, mostly the collarbone breaking. So we're going to go through my gear as quickly as possible, starting from the top down. And also we're going to get into my links tips for the angle. I saw someone get hurt with the angle cutout. So we're going to go over that real quick. If you're a new rider, you may want to stay tuned till the end, but we're going to start from the top right here. We have the new Olders helmet. This has been through some crashes. You can see right there, Psycho hit the back of his head. Probably wouldn't be riding today if uh, I hadn't made him wear this helmet when he was riding the skateboard. So this new Olders helmet has amazing visibility, but it's not motorcycle grade helmet. If you want more protection, you need a motorcycle grade helmet. The problem is we're not riding motorcycles. We need downward visibility. You don't have a bike below you. So you need, you need really good peripheral vision and really good vision below you to make sure you're not hitting bumps and stuff like that. So the new Olders helmet's great for visibility, but not so good for protection. But I mean, it's saved me a bunch of times, saved Psycho. All right, we also, we're gonna be going over this charger enhancer, how it may benefit you and keep your EUCs lifelong. You can also use it to test um, to see if your batteries have degraded. Okay, so shoulder pads. We got these on the jacket here. This is a jacket I have, and then, I just bought a new one of these. We got this out of the closet here. Boom. Okay, so I got this soft shelled one, which I just bought a new one because me and Steven ran into each other at Alabeda, and this has been ripped up ever since. And it's missing one of the shoulders. And after I've seen all these shoulder injuries, I've decided to buy a new one. I wear this. This is under armor. It's lightweight, doesn't get too hot for the most part. And uh, it's held up really well for like a couple crashes. And I'll put that either under the hard shell to give me like a cushion layer. You know, this is my cushion layer. This is my hard layer. Uh, I'm not a big beefy dude, so I need the cushion and I need the hard shells. This also has some elbow pads, good chest protector. This has chest protection, side protection. This as well has the, the side protection. So it's combining these layers into the protection. You need really good protection. And I'll put that under armor sometimes on under this jacket because it has shoulders cycle give me this jacket and uh, elbows so it has shoulders and elbows if you put the under armor under that you got two layers so that's good for low speeds really good for low speeds i wear this under the liet or i wear it under my jacket or yeah okay uh wrist guards i have three different kinds of wrist guards here the ones from the e-wheels are probably the the best that i have i'll probably wear these during the race then I have these, which are also pretty decent, the rollerblade ones. And then these are like good for low speed. But man, the thing with racing is a lot of people race without uh, wrist guards because it gives you, you have more flex. And that's why these are good because at least you get a little bit of protection, but uh, you still get the full range of motion of your wrist. So if you're getting into those turns, you can still weave. And then I got these gloves, which also have been where you use, which you will still break your wrist with these, like, and probably these ones at, at uh, higher speeds. So these are definitely the most important higher speeds. You know, you could start super low speeds. I would at least have some hard shell though at super low speeds. Minimum of these, these are almost worthless. And then uh, as you're going up in speed or off-roading where there's some jagged rocks or something like that, you may want some harder ones. So about the wrist guards, elbow pads, body protection, shoulder protection. We went over the helmets, um, knee pads, knee pads. We got the leets. I just bought the new ones. One ride, they're getting those probably in stock. I got these old ones though. This is like my third pair. And you can tell they have been well used. The other two pairs, the straps go bad. And also they were broken because I crashed really hard with these. So these leets, I'm kind of worried about the new ones because these have been amazing. And uh, I don't really have any complaints except the straps. I was actually going to have someone fix the straps uh, for me to make them a little bit shorter because they kind of get stretched out over time. But those are the leets. So I also am going to be getting this leet underwear because I have some scars on my hip from crashes. Like I have a scar here. Um, from from one of my crashes and i think if i was wearing some underwear like this it would be good these are the new lit knee pads right here these are amazing okay those are they look amazing 
Um, more flex, better straps. We'll see. We'll, we'll test those, okay? Um, and then my shoes, which I have recently upgraded, and already these are one of the best best things. These were only 50 euros. They're kind of peeling at the top, but I could probably just, or at the toes, I could probably just get some glue to fix that. And these things just give me more grip. They're, uh, let me sit down somewhere so you can see they got some protection in the ankles. Now, a lot of people, you may want higher up, but I need some more flexibility. I can't, I can't have boots that are up here that don't have flex that are too stiff, but those do give you more protection at the sacrifice of mobility. So it's finding the right pair for you. I have a, I went through some boots at a store in one of my videos. If you want to check that out, this is like my third or fourth hard shell backpack, which has saved me numerous time. This one's pretty much brand new, but it still has some scratches. What happens is you fall when you're riding. Sometimes you're not always falling forward. Sometimes you fall backwards and instead of bonking your head backwards you bonk that backpack and it's it's saved me m many times i may not race with it this time but man it's just it may slow me down like 0.3 seconds or 0.1 second or something really millisecond but the protection is just amazing okay so i think we've covered all the bases there i have some links updates for you guys and uh i also carry around this pump pumps electric pump is an essential piece of gear Got my clothes, got my white pants. Here's my little bathroom blow dryer for dri blow drying clothes and keeping things sanitized. Uh, and for my hair, of course, some supplements. I've been trying the carnivore diet and maybe just a little bit like pickled stuff and some olives and pickled carrots, but uh, just made some Angus burgers that were really good. Okay, let's go over the links. Uh, so this is what I've been seeing and this is what happened to me. Let's Guys, see. if your links is doing this, like when you stop and it cuts out like that, it's your power button is sticking. Okay. You need so you see, you see how that cut out? It's from your power button sticking. The generation ones or the batch ones, and maybe some of the batch twos have the old buttons right here. This power button, it gets jammed. You get sand in there. Well, I had sand in mine, but it just gets jammed. And at low speeds, like that guy was going it can cause you to cut out like that. And when it happened to me, my cutout angle was low, which we're going to go over here in a minute. Let's unplug. We're just charging up. I was out practicing. So we got to go. What is it on? We got to turn it on. Okay. Okay. Right here. Your angle percentage. Mine is at 55. I feel like this is the sweet spot. I feel like the factory, they put it too low, like at 40. And a lot of people, I had someone just comment where they broke their ankle. I think it was their ankle from the angle cut out. What this means is I, I can't really demonstrate right here in my apartment, but if it's at 45, let me try. If, if it's at 45, it's going to cut out about right there. It'll go beep and it'll cut out. Mine's at 55. So it cuts out right, th right there. Okay. So at 45, if you're just leaning a little bit too much, it's going to cut out. And that's how you get hurt. Like if you're on a berm or some kind of hills and you're like sideways like this and it cuts out and you don't know about that cutout angle, you go flying and you get hurt. So I recommend 55. I feel like 55 is a sweet spot. Now, the problem with putting it too high over 55 is it's not going to cut out when it goes down and it's going to spin like a chainsaw. And what happened to me, I had mine too high. And my button got stuck. My first, my other links, the 50E links, this is the 50S. The button got stuck and it cut out and the angle wasn't too low and it still kept spinning and it spun around like a chainsaw and the, the kickstand hit my shin and I had a dent in my shin for like a long time. So, so definitely make sure your angle, I feel like 55 is a sweet spot. Let me know what you guys think about the sweet spot there. I think I've covered everything. We've got the holy bible there and some meditation books been reading quite a bit uh, i got the insta 360 i got my flyers from one right oh the charger enhancer let's go over that real quick okay so the idea behind this charger enhancer it doesn't work on the links unfortunately but with it you have smart charging real-time monitoring extended battery life auto disconnect so it is a device that will make charging your battery more efficient it'll keep your battery life the longevity of your battery life it should extend it and if you are curious to see if your cells have degraded, maybe you're going to try to resell a wheel and you want to show people that your wheel's still good, this has a uh, battery capacity assessment that can test to see if your cells degraded. So that's at pidzoom.com, discount code ZenZone. ZenZone works at pidzoom.com. 
meepoboard.com and oneride.eu. Guys, check out the discount code. Leave a like, leave a thumbs up. I hope we got this under 10 minutes. At least it felt pretty long. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it next time. Stay in, And until next time, stay in the Zen Zone. Thank <laughs> you.